There's something about airplanes. The more electronics you put in them, the more bugs, breakdowns, and cold sweats pilots have to deal with. And that's exactly what's happening with the F-35. Since its release, this jewel of American technology has been plagued by crashes, breakdowns, and controversy. The result? Some countries have even decided to cancel their orders. Yes, the famous fighter jet of the future, supposedly invincible, sometimes looks more like a failed Windows update than an operational fighter jet. And stay tuned until the end because you'll see that between the the billions swallowed up, the incredible failures, and the pilots who refuse to fly it, the story of the F-35 is enough to make you tremble and laugh bitterly. And by the way, if you like candid analysis of military aviation, consider subscribing to the channel. It motivates me to release even more mind-blowing content. The American dream turned nightmare. At first, everything looked perfect. Back in the 1990s, the Pentagon launched the JSF program, Joint Strike Fighter. The idea? Create one aircraft capable of doing it all. Air Force, Navy, Marines, everyone would fly the same plane. One program, three needs. On paper, it was beautiful. Stealth, supersonic speed, cutting-edge avionics, smart weapons. The F-35 was supposed to be the flying Swiss Army knife. But reality had other plans. When you try to please everyone, you end up pleasing no one. The Navy wanted a tough carrier-based aircraft. The Marines wanted a jet that could take off vertically like the Harrier. The Air Force wanted an agile dogfighter to replace the F-16. The result? Three different versions. F-35A, F-35B, and F-35C, and not a single one perfectly optimized. And of course, the budget exploded. The initial cost estimate? $40 billion. The real cost? Over $400 billion. And when you add maintenance and logistics support through 2070, we're talking about a total bill exceeding $1.7 trillion. Yes, trillion with a T, almost equal to Australia's annual GDP the endless crashes and malfunctions. Now, let's talk about the messy part, the crashes. Since it entered service, the F-35 has been plagued by a series of accidents that are, let's say, not great PR for a plane that's supposed to be the future of aviation. Examples. In 2018, an F-35B crashed in South Carolina after a fuel line failure. Result? The entire fleet was temporarily grounded. In 2020, in Florida, an F-35A went down during a nighttime training mission due to fall sensors. The pilot barely ejected in time. The $100 million jet was destroyed. And in 2021, a British F-35 literally fell off the aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth. The video went viral. You see the jet take off, then dive into the ocean like a rock. The pilot probably thought, ah, so that's what total stealth means, disappearing at the bottom of the sea. And it's not just crashes. Even on the ground, the F-35 has a habit of breaking down. Overheating engines, hydraulic issues, software bugs, even the U.S. Air Force admits the jet can't fly more than a few hours without something glitching. And here's the kicker. Even the pilot's helmet, which costs $400,000 each, has its own bugs. Poor visibility, misaligned data. Sometimes pilots say they'd rather fly blind. With the F-35, every flight feels more like a lottery than a military mission. The pilots have lost faith. Imagine this, you're a pilot trained for years and you finally get to fly the most expensive jet in history. You climb in, start it up, and you can't see properly. As early as 2015, tests revealed a huge flaw, poor rear visibility. Yes, a fighter jet that's supposed to dominate the skies and you can't even see what's behind you. Perfect, especially when an enemy is on your tail. But that's not all. In a simulated dogfight against an old F-16, a plane from the 1970s, the F-35 got destroyed. The official report stated the F-35 struggled to maneuver and consistently lost the advantage. In other words, the most expensive jet ever built got beaten by its grandfather. It's like the newest PlayStation losing to a Nintendo 64. Painful for fans. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss what's coming next. The countries that walked away. Originally, the F-35 was meant to be an international project. Dozens of partner nations, massive orders, a showcase of American engineering. Except not everyone stuck around. Canada, for instance, hesitated for years choosing to buy F-18 Super Hornets before being pressured back into the F-35 program. 
Turkey was flat out kicked out in 2019 after buying Russian S-400 air defense systems. Their jets canceled. Other nations like Belgium and Germany have dragged their feet. Even the UK, a major partner, slashed its original order. So instead of being a global success story, the F-35 became something of a product that many countries just don't want. The insane technical problems. Think we're done? Not even close. The list of F-35 issues is endless. The Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine tends to overheat, causing cracks in the exhaust, a $14 million engine that doesn't like being pushed. The airframe sometimes develops cracks after only a few hundred flight hours. It's supposed to last thousands. The Alice software, designed to predict maintenance issues, was so buggy it got scrapped and replaced with a new system called Odin. Guess what? Odin crashes too. And the cherry on top? Some F-35 models can't even fly in bad weather because their stealth coating deteriorates in the rain. Yes, a warplane that can't handle a little drizzle. Even a bicycle does better. So why is it still flying? Good question. With all these flaws, why keep building it? Simple. It's too big to fail. Hundreds of billions already invested. Thousands of American jobs, contracts with allies. Shutting it down would mean admitting a monumental failure. And to be fair, the F-35 does have some strengths. It's stealthy, packed with sensors, and capable of sharing data in real time. On paper, it's impressive. In real life, half the time, the tech doesn't work as intended. The F-35 is like that overpriced smartphone that promises the moon but freezes every time you open three apps at once. The F-35 versus the competition. Let's be honest, you judge an aircraft by its rivals, and here the F-35 looks pretty weak. Take the F-22 Raptor, for example. Older, but miles ahead in air combat. The F-22 was built purely for air superiority. Agile, fast, stealthy. The F-35 tried to do everything. Vertical takeoff, spying missions. Result? It doesn't excel at anything. Even against foreign jets, the comparison hurts. France's Rafale has proven to be more agile and reliable in extreme conditions. Russia's Su-35 boasts legendary maneuverability thanks to thrust vectoring. Sure, the F-35 has an advantage in stealth and networking, but only when the software actually works. One US pilot, speaking anonymously, put it best, the F-35 is great when it works, which, let's be honest, isn't very reassuring. Internal criticism. The criticism doesn't just come from YouTube or the press. Even inside the Pentagon, people are speaking out. A Government Accountability Office report described the F-35 as having excessively complex and costly maintenance. Translation? Every flight hour requires about 30 hours of maintenance. Yes, 30 hours for one hour of flight. Imagine buying a car that needs a full week in the garage after every drive. And another gem. In 2019, the Department of Defense report listed over 800 unresolved issues, some critical to flight safety. In other words, an aircraft in service, but still in beta, like an unfinished video game. And several members of Congress have called the program a money pit and the biggest military scandal since Vietnam. When your own lawmakers mock your most expensive toy, that hurts field stories. Beyond reports and data, the best way to understand the F-35's problems is through real-world anecdotes. Example, during a deployment in Asia, several F-35s were grounded because their stealth coating started peeling off in the tropical heat. Imagine a hundred million jet turning into a giant jigsaw puzzle because the glue failed. Another story, a U.S. pilot had to cut short a training flight because his helmet was showing incorrect data. The artificial horizon tilted by several degrees. Basically, the jig was telling him he was flying straight when he was actually banking. Not exactly comforting when you're 30,000 feet up. And the funniest one, in 2017, the Pentagon discovered that the F-35's A-list system depended on a single server in Texas. The result, if the server crashed or suffered a cyber attack, the entire global fleet could be paralyzed. Yes, a stealth aircraft at the mercy of a simple computer bug the future of the F-35, miracle or confirmed fiasco. So does the F-35 still have a future? The United States has already ordered more than 2,500 units, and several allies, Japan, Israel, Italy, Australia, are still counting on it. Israel, for example, has even used it in operations in the Middle East. And there, surprisingly, despite its flaws, the F-35 managed to penetrate airspace protected by modern radar, proving that its stealth capabilities are not just a myth. But 
the question remains, at what cost? With exorbitant maintenance costs and availability sometimes below 50%, the F-35 is far from the promise of a cheap and universal aircraft. The future will tell us whether the F-35 will be modernized and saved by its software updates or whether it will go down in history as the biggest fiasco in military aviation. The verdict. The F-35 was supposed to be the symbol of American supremacy. Today, it mainly symbolizes the excesses of modern weaponry. Too much technology, too many promises, and a price tag that defies belief. Is it a failed aircraft? Not entirely. Is it a perfect aircraft? Far from it. Above all, it is an aircraft that illustrates what not to do, trying to be everywhere at once without ever excelling anywhere. So, tell me in the comments. For you, is the F-35 the ultimate weapon or just a luxury PowerPoint presentation come to life? And above all, if you like these kinds of videos that take off without software bugs, remember to subscribe and activate the bell. Because here, unlike the F-35, everything works first time.